Hello everyone. With the new school you're about to start, I thought I'd share with you my top 10 tips for starting your GCSE in computer science. Tip number one. This is an obvious one. Listen to your teacher. 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the, anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the, anyone, anyone, now, while I appreciate not, not every teacher can be as knowledgeable, interesting, cool, and let's face it, as good looking as me, your teacher has taught this subject probably for quite a while. They know what's in the exam. They know what's in the course syllabus. They know what you need to know in order to get the grade that you need. Tip number two, make good notes. This doesn't mean that you need to write down everything your teacher says. You don't need to write everything that's on the board at all times, but make notes on the key points. What are the key pieces of vocabulary, the key facts that you need to know? Summarize it, put it in your own words. In my classes, there is a very strong correlation between the students who make good notes and the students who get good grades at the end of year 11. How should you make notes? Well, I'm all in favor of making those notes by hand. Science has spoken. People who handwrite their notes do better in exams than those who type up their notes in a computer and those that even record the audio for the lesson and play it back later. By handwriting notes, you engage your brain more, your brain pays attention, and you learn more while you're making the notes. So that is how I would recommend that you do it. Tip number three, learn to program everyone. This is the key thing about computer science. It's the coding. You'll learn lots of theory, lots of other things to do with computer science. But at the end of the day, if you can make it through your GCSE and you can't code, if you're not confident in coding, you're not going to get a great grade. And to be honest, it's not going to be a satisfactory experience for you. Programming is awesome. Programming is amazing. Spend time on it. It's an art. You don't get good at painting if you don't paint. You don't get good at playing the guitar unless you spend hours playing the guitar. It's the same with coding. Practice coding. You will get better. Learn to enjoy it. It is so satisfying when your program works, when it does what you want it to do. It's not always easy to learn, but spend the time on it. It will be worth it. Tip number four. Learn the vocabulary. The theory for computer science doesn't matter the specification, OCR, AQA, whatever. A lot of the theory is just about learning what the words are, what the definitions are, and when to use them. For me as a teacher, one of the most frustrating things is when I mark mock exams and students write these vague, woolly answers to questions. You think, well, I've had this definition up on the board. I've asked students to write it down. Why am I not getting it in the test? If you learn the words and you learn the definitions, there's so many easy marks that you're going to get that you'll almost guarantee yourself a good grade. So learn those words. What do they mean? What definitions are they looking for in the exam? This brings us on to tip number five. When you do past paper questions from previous exams in class, when your teacher shows you mark schemes from those exams, pay attention. This is exactly what the exam board wants you to answer. The same questions come up exam after exam after exam. They might reword the question very slightly, but it's basically the same information they're looking for. So what answers do they want? Why do they want them? What answers do they not want? If you learn that, that will raise you by at least one grade when you do the exam at the end of year 11. So pay attention to this. Tip number six read around the subject. What do I mean by this? Well, in your exam, you're going to get four, five, six, seven, eight mark questions that are going to involve you having a broad knowledge of computer science and how it impacts on society. As your teacher, I can't tell you everything about the subject and how it impacts on society and how these different laws and technological developments have changed how people work and play and socialize. You need to study this yourself. You know, on the news, on websites, if there's something about computer science or hacking or viruses or new laws to do with computer science, watch them, understand them. So when you get those long essay style questions, 
you've got plenty to write about and you'll get all those extra marks. Tip number seven. Yes, you need to revise for your tests. Key stage three, year seven, year eight, whatever. I know a lot of students don't revise. They rock up to the test and they do pretty well. If you try that when you're doing GCSE, especially when you're using questions from actual past papers, you don't revise, you will crash and you will burn because it's obvious who's rev revised and who hasn't. So if you haven't been revising before now, you've chosen to do GCSE computer science. If you've got a test coming up, do a bit of revision. Doesn't matter how smart you are, you will always get a better mark if you do a bit of revision. Tip number eight, find alternative sources of information. Maybe even if you've got a fantastic teacher like me, just sometimes some things don't stick in your mind or you can't quite understand the explanation. Find other places, websites, YouTube videos, revision textbooks that you can go to and find out alternative ways of uh, expressing this information. Because maybe your teacher says it one way, you don't understand it. You go and watch a YouTube video, you don't understand it. You pick up that revision book, oh, actually, I now understand what they're talking about. Oh, it all makes sense now. So find different sources of information. Could be my YouTube channel, could be other YouTube channels, wherever, find somewhere that explains in a way that you can understand it and use that to help you strengthen any weaknesses that you have. Tip number nine, work well with your peers. You're not in this alone. The people who are your classmates are a great source of information. Is the person next to you really good at coding? Use them to help you. Or maybe the person next to you struggling with their binary math and you're really good at binary math. So you can explain it to them. If you can explain it to somebody else, that is a really great way of demonstrating your knowledge, of strengthening how much you understand it. So work well with the people around you, even if you're not sitting next to your best mate. Work well with people. Together, you will raise everybody's grades. And number 10, best tip of all, have fun. I love computer science. For me, it was always the highlight of my day seeing that on the schedule. And I think everybody should have the same opinion. Computer science, you get to go in, play around with computers, learn about computers, do programming. It should be fun. If it is fun, you will learn without even realizing it and you will get the grade you need at the end of the course. Well, that's all for me today. I hope there was some interesting advice there, maybe making you think about things in a slightly different way. Have a good day and I will see you soon for the next video.